Dalo vinang guya dalo sana ang kita tali taki ni ano barong ng Bula FM at Golden Point Resort basen do naman do ano here vinaka. Bula vinaka na dalo ng kote vita o tuong goy ninety. Anto tali taka wale ano barong ng Bula FM naman do ano sir. Na dalo ng makilis ni guer kraki at nasi ng Bula FM naman do ano sir. Ano nga orakin ni kita ni guto ba? Anto tali taka na barong ng Bula FM naman do ano sir? Ungo ba ano sir? Bula FM naman do ano sir? This is FBC News. I'm Amrit Priyadarshni. In the news tonight, majority schools to resume classes from tomorrow. And the New Zealand Defence Force ship arrives with aid and military personnel. Thank you for joining FBC News. We apologise for the delay. But first up, a 26-year-old man is in critical condition after he accidentally touched a live wire. The electrician was working on an electric pole at Natambua Housing in Lotoka when the alleged incident happened. Divisional Police Commander West, SSP Marika Yalimai Wai, told FPC News, Vilive Nayambo suffered severe burns and is admitted at the Lotoka Hospital. It is believed Nayambo was working on broken power lines when he got electrocuted. Nayambo works for a local company which is a subsidiary... Sub contractor for the Fiji Electricity Authority. The police investigation is continuing. Majority of schools will resume classes from tomorrow. In the aftermath of tropical cyclone Winston, government is working hard to get students back in the classroom. Frazana Nisha reports. Schools which have Education Minister Dr. Mahendra Reddy says all schools in the Southern Division and Vanuolevu will open from tomorrow. However, some schools in Rekireki, Tavua and Bar Corridor will open from the 7th of March. Dr. Reddy says schools in the Eastern Division, which includes Koro Island and the Lomaiviti Group, will take some time to resume classes. Some schools have sustained severe damage, making them unsafe for our teachers and students. Parents have been urged to make alternative arrangements for their children if their schools are not reopening. For safety reasons, it is important that your children remain under adult supervision during the day. The Ministry of Education will supply regular updates on the progress of schools under repair and is exploring temporary solutions for affected areas. A complete list of all schools that are opening from tomorrow can be obtained from today's Fiji Sun. Farzana Nisha, FPC News. New Zealand Defence Force ship HMNZS Wellington arrived at the Suva port today with aid. The ship also has 71 military personnel on board who will assist in disaster relief efforts. Saini Boyla toured the ship and files this report. <laughs> the New Zealand Defence Forces assistance to Fiji is one of its largest peacetime deployment to the Pacific. So we're here for a uh, short uh, log stop uh, to embark some fuel and um, also six, six uh, Royal Fijian Military Force um, hydrographers and uh, other agencies and also we're bringing in approximately three tonnes worth of food um, for the Outer Islands and the Lao Group which I'm, to my knowledge have not been assessed yet. HMNZS Wellington Lieutenant Commanding Officer Matthew Keo says they are working on the directives from the New Zealand headquarters in Fiji and will concentrate on islands where aid has not reached. And yet yeah, they've, they've highlighted that um, there's some aid uh, to the main island in the Lao group, however the surrounding islands haven't been uh, assessed, to, again to my knowledge, and that's where we'll be concentrating a majority of our efforts as we clear the way and, and prepare the way for Canterbury to arrive, um, who has a specialist landing, uh, landing equipment and also uh, heavy co cargo transfer ashore. The New Zealand Defence Forces offshore petrol vessel Wellington left New Zealand 8 o'clock on Wednesday and arrived in Fiji today to refuel and embark six military personnel en route to the northern Lao Island to identify and survey sites where HMNZS Canterbury will be able to operate later this week. Meanwhile, the HMNZS Canterbury, which with more facilities, is expected to arrive on Thursday. The ship will bring more aid and military personnel to assist Fiji. Saini Animboila, 
FBC News. February 20th will be the date villages of Vatukalo in Ovila will always remember. The many severe tropical cyclone Winston will be one hard to forget as they sacrifice their lives for others. Akusita Tale with more on the story. Sharing her painful experience, Naomi Tukewasawasa and her husband's first priority on that fateful day was their eight children and their 80-year-old grandfather. As strong winds blow away houses in the village and started detaching parts of their roof away, their bedridden grandfather was forced to join them in the kitchen, which was still safe. <laughs> He struggled to reach the kitchen, then we made him sit on the table and push the table right to the door so it blocked him from opening. And the children were told to hide under the sink. Then my husband stood at one door while I stood at another. This was four hours before we started noticing our grandfather begin to shiver. That's when we gave him an umbrella to keep him away from the rain coming inside the house. When the winds died down, a group of boys in the village managed to take their grandfather to seek shelter in church before Naomi's elders took the rest of the kids. They were sheltered at the church for the whole of Saturday night with wet clothes and anything to eat. There was a bucket of biscuit that belonged to my kid's uncle, but water had seeped inside the bucket and all the biscuit was soaked, but we had no choice but to eat it to survive the night. Even the sugar was also wet. Our grandfather stayed up all night sitting in church with wet clothes on his body. Naomi says they were thankful that when daylight came, everyone was safe and there was good weather to sun their belongings. Akusita Tale, FBC News. No houses were spared in Nao village on Ovalau after tropical cyclone Winston swept past its coastline at around 3 p.m. last Saturday. As Akusita Tale reports, strong winds damaged and destroyed all the houses on the village. This is what tropical cyclone Winston has left behind for the 23 families of Nauwawu village. These houses could not stand winds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, leaving no options for villagers but to take shelter in toilets, bathrooms and culverts. Village steward Isimeli Lati, while sharing his story with FBC News, says the youngest was a three-month-old baby. <laughs> I went to lock them in the bathroom and the walls of the houses were coming off. Majority of the people in this village went to seek shelter in the toilets and bathrooms, a place where only one goes for a few minutes was now filled with around 15 people for hours during the strong winds, including a three-month-old baby and the other children. Some went to hide in the culvert because when the church collapsed, everyone had lost hope. Some villagers hid in the drain under the houses to try and stay alive. During the long ordeal, Lati says they never heard any children cry or anyone scream for help. However, the strong winds claimed the life of 72-year-old Selai Wanga when a beam of the church fell on her. No one slept on Saturday night. We were all wet from Saturday afternoon to Sunday morning to all Fijians. If you see the destruction and devastation in this village, you will never believe that only one life was lost. We were saved by the Almighty. Our church, community hall and houses are no more. And now all 23 families will have to make do with the four dwellings we have left. There's no power, we have no water, 
And there's no line of communication open for us to contact our relatives. While assistance has started flowing into the villages on Friday afternoon, people of Nauwo Wo are grateful there were no major injuries or more deaths. 62-year-old Inoke Nabuetaki, the older brother of deceased Selai Wanga, says he is lucky to be alive. He says tropical cyclone Winston has wiped out all that he owns. <laughs> I was lying on the beach on Saturday just before strong winds and waves started to pick up. I am thankful the Almighty did this because it has allowed us to spend more time with family members. Because before our wealth and started separating us from the rest of our family. This is the new beginning for us to start from the basics. More than 100 villagers had to seek shelter at this village church before strong winds brought the structure down and left a mark, which all on the island will never forget. Akusita Tale, FBC News. After the break, we have more stories of people who survived the killer cyclone. Yandra, I love listening to Gold FM at Golden Point Resort. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Hola. My name is General from the Village. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. I'm Moses from Valley. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Marida Manako. I'm from Kandavu. I like listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Silipa from Tavo Town. I love listening to Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Welcome back here with FBC News. Now stories of what transpired on that awful night when severe tropical cyclone Winston hit Fiji continues to be shared. It's almost a week now, but memories of the dreadful night is still fresh on the minds of those who experienced it. Tokasa Rainima with this story. Waisake Gaungau of Nambuna village in Tabua was caught by surprise last Saturday as he claims he was unaware of the danger of a severe storm looming over the country. At around 6 p.m. on Saturday, strong winds surprised us together with rain. We did not believe that it would turn out to be a cyclone. For the first time in Nambuna, at the same time the village was flooded, I told the villagers not to move around. The roof was blown away and the children and mothers were panicking. Gao Gao, who is in his early 50s, says by the time they came to terms with what was happening, floodwaters had already entered the village. Because of the flood, uniforms and school books for our children got wet and washed away. Makeles Reimbe is from the same village but was lucky to make it out in time. I was told by a villager when I came back from Korovo that all the houses were destroyed, even the ones beside my house. On Sunday morning, when I returned to the village, I cried when I saw that the roof in one side of my house was being blown away. However, throughout the ordeal of tropical cyclone Winston, she was worried about her son who was left behind in the village. My beautiful house was no longer there. I looked to heaven and cried. I was worried about my son, as I was being told that he had gone to the evacuation center. The Nambona villagers have since taken shelter at Tawa Primary School. Tokas Rainima, FBC News. A family in Nerewa Raki Raki had to seek shelter in an abandoned delivery truck to escape the wrath of T.C. Winston. FBC News visited the Lata family late last week, where the family still remains in the truck as their family house was damaged by the Category 5 cyclone. Chalin Daudakadaka reports. The Lata family has been living in Narewa Ra along the Queen's Highway for over 60 years. Kiran Lata, who is staying with her brother and 76-year-old father, Harisin, lost the roof of her house and her family belongings were also damaged in floodwaters. 
जोन टाइम तूफान आई से तो उतना बजे हम लोग अपन घर के भीतर रहा जोन टाइम व्हेन द साइक्लोन हिट अस वी वर स्टिल इनसाइड आवर हाउस वी थॉट वी वुड बी सेफ बट वी वर नॉट माय फादर इज सिकली सो व्हेन आवर रूफ ब्लो ऑफ आई हैड टू मूव हिम अंडर द टेबल दिस ट्रक बिलोंग्स टू अ लोकल कंपनी एंड वाज मूव्ड टू द लाटा कंपाउंड आफ्टर ब्रेकिंग डाउन ऑन द हाईवे लास्ट ईयर seeking refuge from the heavy heavy rain and the strong winds the lata family broke the lock of the truck and moved their belongings here to seek refuge mr sin uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, how bad this uh, cyclone was in all your years when the cyclone hit us we were having our dinner but due to the strong winds we left our food and went under the bed when the wind subsided After some time my brother came and decided to take us away but we couldn't go so we opened this delivery truck and we moved inside everything was wet but we stayed here all night Sin an asthmatic says it was a miracle that the damage to his house did not trigger an attack Itna khushi hai ki moti bhai ke lori hamara I'm happy that this truck was in my compound the truck has been here since it broke down and we have been looking after it i am very thankful the lata family now joins fellow citizens who are contemplating on what the future holds because of the devastation left behind by tc winston talent of the kadaka fbc news barotu primary school head teacher ashishwar prasad has given 600 dollars to evacuees to clean and clear debris in and around the school After the education minister's visit to the school last week, school head teacher Ashishwar Prasad made arrangements with the evacuees in the school. Senia Nimboila has more. Barotu Primary School head teacher Ashishwar Prasad has given $600 to evacuees to clean and clear debris in and around the school. now we have geared towards uh, the clean up uh, and uh, what i did uh, was the all the people who are in the evacuation center uh, i have paid uh, about uh, $600 gave them contract of $600 so that they can buy the immediate stuffs like food and water etc and uh, now they have started with the clean up we have uh, completed uh, the uh, classrooms the classrooms are now up to date uh, only thing is the roof is not there and three cl- classrooms and uh, and they they have started the clean up in outside the compound education minister dr mohendra reddy visited the school this week and confirmed that the school will commence on the 6th of next month meanwhile brotu evacuee maria sakuna who got her elbow dislocated while trying to escape the height of the cyclone says monster tc winston was an experience she will never forget it's like uh, very shocking and uh, i like it's like a dream for me i thought it was a dream but i it wasn't it was a reality so just thank the lord for everything eh? because it's all him no one else it's all him barotu primary school in the ra province is currently sheltering 10 families more than 170 houses were fully destroyed in the province of ra Senya Nimboila FBC News Turtle Island Resort in the Yasawas has led the way in reaching to those whose lives have been affected by tropical cyclone Winston. A barge arrived from Lotoka on Thursday bringing relief food rations worth over $55,000. After conducting their own initial damage assessment on seven villages in the Nadola district Turtle Island Resort has taken on a proactive role in bringing relief food rations to those whose lives have been affected. One of the common themes throughout was that uh, the the crops, the root crops, were all destroyed, and some and a lot of the reports we got was that people only had about two to three days, uh, up to four days even of, of food left. So what we tried to do was, uh, without you know waiting too long, we we tried to go straight in. We we chartered a barge. Evanson says the support from their clientele after raising awareness in the last few days has been overwhelming. He adds the money collected from the fundraising drive will be used to other villages in the Asawa group that have been affected. We also at the same time in the last 24 hours put 
up a um, a fundraising event and and reached out to all of our family and friends overseas as well as our past guests and we were extremely appreciative and and grateful um, and deeply humbled by their support uh, in the last 24 hours we were able to raise over 130,000 Fiji dollars uh, which will go towards the relief effort um, and which also means that we will now be able to reach even further um, to assist government um, for any needs that they might have to uh, for food supply. Meanwhile, a DSMAC team has been accommodated on the island in the past few days as they conduct their own assessment on the damage in the Asawas. For Kasarainima, FBC News. Coming up in sports, Fiji 7s prepares for a tough pull. And drag races come together for a worthy cause. मैं उरियान खान गुरबो तालेबु के जैसे फेस्टिवल ए ग्रेट है गुरबो में उसी तरह मिर्ची एफएम नंबर 1 है गुरबो में एम एलीन लटका में मिर्ची एफएम को लॉक कर दिया जाए मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट हम नकाशी से समय माने हमारा फेस्टिवल जैसे नंबर 1 है वैसे मिर्ची एफएम नंबर 1 है माय नेम इज दिनेश हम नेंडी में काम करता है स्लीपिंग जेंट्स सप्लाई में और मिर्ची एफएम इज हॉट आई लाइक इट मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट Welcome to FPC Sports. Being grouped against the same three teams in two consecutive tournaments in the World 7 Series does not make it any easier. This is the view of Vodafone Fiji 7's coach Ben Ryan as the side prepares to tackle Argentina, Samoa and France having met them in the pool stages in Sydney earlier this month. Chalindo Zakazaka has more. They go to the left. The feeling of deja vu is imminent for the Fiji 7s camp as they prepare for the Las Vegas 7s next weekend. Osea Kulinisau and his men are grouped with Argentina, France and Samoa. And coach Ben Ryan says Fiji's impressive winning streak in the pool stages is becoming increasingly hard to maintain. Oh, no, I mean, a very, very tough pool, you know. Um, it's, uh, when you look at some of the other pools, you know, it's... Um, it's, uh, it's night and day, really, in the quality. And we're also going to have you know, a 2-2-2. So we'll have two group games on, on the Friday and then group game and quarter-final on the Saturday. So no, uh, very good sides. We're going to have to be on top of our game to, to beat all, uh, all of them. And, you know, and, and we've got a lot of respect for all three teams. The Las Vegas Sevens is one of two tournaments in the series that is played over three days. No, it'd be good, you know, if you think Olympic Games is over three days. The only three-day tournaments last year were Hong Kong and Vegas, and we, we won both of those. So shows that we get our conditioning right for three-day tournaments. Now more than ever, the players will be looking to give their ultimate best to put a smile on the faces of their fellow Fijians as the country reels from the devastating effects of Cyclone Winston. Talent Oda Kavaka, FPC Sports. The Fiji Car Club today hosted a special drag race event to raise funds for the Cyclone Winston relief efforts. Members had to pay $50 to participate and additional donations were accepted with all proceeds to go toward helping people in need of assistance around the country. Today what we call is a fun day. You know, um, we got a um, few races here and there coming up today. Um, you know, we're charging $50 and also you know, we're taking our heads around and we collected quite a um, few money today. Um, Obviously, all um, of this uh, will go um, directly to the, to the people who have been affected uh, by this cyclone. And obviously, I was there yesterday in Reiki Reiki Town, and it's very bad. So, you know, we thought, you know, just to, for the car club community to come together and, and collect uh, for the good cause. 24 fast cars took part in the event, and $2,000 was raised by members, which will be given to the Prime Minister's Relief and Rehabilitation Fund. Leonardo Ulloa's 89th minute goal extended Leicester's lead at the top of the English Premier League to five points and denied Norwich a deserved draw. The wins keep Leicester's unlikely title bid on track. West Brom had to work hard in the second half, but enough had been done in the first half to see off Crystal Palace with a 3-2 victory. West Brom moves 11 points above the EPL relegation zone, while Palace are just eight points off the 18th. Well, West Ham has also extended their unbeaten home run to 13 games with a 1-0 win over Sunderland who missed the opportunity to climb out of the relegation zone. Mikhail Antonio's first half goal, his fifth in 15 starts for the club, proved the difference.
fine weather apart from some brief afternoon showers were experienced over most places today. An active trough of low pressure lies slow moving over Tuvalu, Tokelau and extends eastwards to the northern Cooks. Well, it was a hot day. Bar recorded 34 degrees. Nandi and Lotoka were on 33. Lambasa experienced 32 degrees. And Suva was on 30. Tomorrow's forecast, brief showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. It should be fine apart from isolated afternoon or evening showers and thunderstorms elsewhere. And we take a look at Tuesday. You can expect some showers. Recapping the main stories, a 26-year-old man is in critical condition after he accidentally touched a live wire. Majority of schools will resume classes from tomorrow and New Zealand Defence Force ship HMNZS Wellington arrives with aid. And you've been watching FPC News. I'm Amrita Priyadarshini. Good night. I'm Sarah, I'm from Tawa, and I love listening to Today at Home, Today at Home Rocks. My name is Freddy, I'm uh, from Gamiatong, I listen to Mario on the traffic jam in the afternoon. Hi, my name is Sala, I live in Asinu, Today at Home Rocks. My name is Denasa, and I'm from Lutoka, and I love listening to Today at Home. My name is Ulamila, I work at Golden Point Resort, I love listening to Today at Home, it rocks in Raki Raki. I'm Mary from Mandera, I love listening to Today at Home, Today at Home Rocks. We love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM.